You heard it here first. Love you, Cheetos, pero sabes que? Yeah, you're my side chick. This is the main one. Lo siento. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Gabriel Iglesias. That's Gabriel Iglesias, if you can say it right. And you're about to see some of my favorite Mexican snacks. Why? Because he's Mexican and it makes sense. All right, this first one right here, this is called Duvalin. This right here, I want to say it's like a, it's an 18 pack. It's a lot. It says 18, 18 pieces. That's uh, 18 pieces. You're getting a little education here. Not only are you learning about certain snacks and candies, you're also learning a new, new language. It's like Rosetta Stone, but it's free. As you can see, it's like, uh, it's like when you go to Vegas and it comes with all these little mini shovels. So you take one and you break it off and then you uh, have your little pack. Oh, oh, he caught it. Caught it. See that? Yes. Ooh, okay. So these are not like traditional American candies that are usually real easy to open and enjoy, but um, it's made with real sugar and the packaging is a little bit different. So let's give this a, give this a try right here. It's a little chocolate, a little bit of vanilla, and it's all good. There's nothing that tastes like this here in the United States. And believe me, I have had it all. Oh yeah, I'm a little candy hoe. I have had it all. This is very thick, it's very rich. And again, you can taste the sugar. Believe me, I'm diabetic, I know. Get my pen, it's gonna go down. Duvalin, people. This next one right here, this one's a, a very a big time personal favorite. These are Takis. Uh, I know some people have called them Takis or uh, Takais. We call them Takis in the neighborhood. And uh, basically, these were the answer to the uh, hot Cheetos. There's hot Cheetos and then there's like literally fire in your mouth. These things are incredible. And the sad part is they make them in like hot, hotter, and then freaking call your doctor because it's gonna hurt tomorrow. I love these very, very much. You don't even have to pay me to say that, but you can. You can make the check payable to Gabriel Iglesias um, and I will cash it and, and I will buy more Takis with it. These are so good. And let me tell you guys, as a lover of spicy food, because I am in fact a lover of spicy food, I love spice, a lot of spice and everything nice. I, in fact, have, my, have a hot sauce. It's called Tapatio. It's, it's not mine, but I'm, I'm like good friends with the company. Special edition, guess who's on the bottle this month? Oh, what? That's right, I'm featured here with my dogs. I have two little dogs, and uh, even though they don't eat uh, spicy food, they're spicy dogs. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Oh man, let me tell you guys something. Okay, so we've seen, we've seen Takis, we've seen Duvalinas, we've seen all kinds of other snacks that, uh, that Mexican folks like myself, nos gustan with uh, stuff that we enjoy, that we love. This has to be easily top three. I know they're called, it says De La Rosa. I've never referred to them as De La Rosa. I call these mazapanes. They're basically, it's a Mexican Reese's peanut butter cup without the chocolate. It's peanuts condensed into this little tiny Mexican hockey puck right here with a little rose on it. And um, the trick has always been, can you successfully open it without breaking it? Are you delicate and gentle enough to open up a mazapan? Nope, I already broke it. See that? Basically, you kind of just take out the busted pieces. You smell it? Mmm, peanuts. Uh, uh, no, no, you just chew it. It's so good. I definitely grew up on these as a kid. This was always like a big treat to get one of these. If you got one of these, somebody got paid. A check cleared, somebody sold something. You don't just get these. These are not cheap. And uh, so, yeah, these are a big time celebration whenever we can get our hands on one. Masapanes, you guys. All right, I know we got like, we're talking about Mexican candies and stuff and you're like, but hey, what, what's up with this? There's like Japanese writing on this one. In the hood, we call these cacahuates japoneses. Basically, it's, um, it's a peanut and it's like a, like, a, like a hard, hard shell. I'm not even gonna call it a candy shell. It's just like a hard shell around the peanut and it's uh, spicy. You know, on the weekends, there's a big fight going on. People are cracking beers and, and what, what are we gonna eat with the beer? And it's, somebody would pull one of these out and you could always hear people eating it. They're really loud when you eat it. It's like, they're crunchy. You can usually find them, up, I would say at a 7-Eleven or something convenience store like that. If it's a 7-Eleven like in the hood hood, it's gotta be the hood hood, not like Calabasas. It's gotta be like straight up like, you know, when you park your car, you're like, I don't know if that shit's gonna be there when I get back. That's, that's, that's where you're gonna find these, these Japanese peanuts. Good stuff, people. Good stuff. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let me introduce you to my friend, Sabritones. Sabritones. Say it with me, people. Uh, it's basically kind of like a ghetto version of uh, pork rinds, chicharrones, pig skin. Um, I don't even think that's what they're made of, um, honestly, but it looks like it. And hey, if it looks like it, it probably is. These are super good. I, I've been enjoying these for, God, like 20 years at least. When you eat too many of these, your mouth will shrivel up because of the amount of salt that's in them. So you gotta always have something to drink because you eat and your mouth just kind of, it turns into mm, 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 like that. Again, your mouth's gonna look like a chicken butt. But these are really, really good. Mm, I really have a couple memories right here. Ah, smells good. Usually with these, you would add like lemon. You take a, like a bunch of lemon and you just squeeze them in there. And then you do like this and then put some hot sauce inside and you shake it up. And uh, I've had the opportunity of enjoying these for, again, many, many years. So good. Well, you guys, uh, we've pretty much reached the end of this. Uh, this has been Snacked. I've been Gabriel Iglesias and we've enjoyed ourselves and this is fun. This is, it's not every day you get invited to come and enjoy and, and just eat and, and drink and, and, and try new things. So, uh, you know, big shout out to you guys for letting me do that here today. And uh, yeah, this, this has been Snacked. This, this is so much fun.